Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Fire Brigade of Flames, Chapter 157. Last time, death, death, and more death, including the wholly undeserved death of my poor innocent shoe guy. Uh, also the first death of, like, a named protagonist who looked like he was going to be important. Uh, with Hachiki getting his, the fucking, like, top two-thirds of his face chopped off by Orochi. Uh, though I do think that leaves him immune to, uh, Ritsu's, uh, zombie powers, given that he doesn't have a brain to manipulate. I think that's how our powers work. Um, but yeah, things are looking dark, uh, in a way that Fire Brigade has never really gone for before. So yeah, let's jump right on in. Uh, Chapter 157, Decisive Struggle. Spilled blood will be a sign of tragedy amidst the fire. And it's just like a, a picture of like a blood stain. One of the strongest from the second was killed in an instant. Orochi has arrived. Uh, and yeah, we open on the Orochi's head, or not Orochi's head, uh, Hajiki's head from the eyes up. While fighting against Infernals in the nether, Hajiki was killed by, the, killed by Orochi at the Knights of the Purple Smoke. Uh, we see uh, Takaru is freaking out about because, you know, his friend just was murdered in front of him. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, and he trips over some rubble and falls. It can't be! Hajiki-senpai is! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Fear not. You'll be joining him soon. Juggernaut. And, uh, uh, Tamaki is keeping her eye on Orochi while also uh, showing some concern for uh, Juggernaut's position right now. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. He's totally lost it. I'll have to do something. And we see uh, Tamaki's two, like, cattail flames uh, appear. What was that? How did she kill him? Hajiki senpai was struck down in a moment. A blow that not even his eye could anticipate. I can't waver. Maybe if it's a flame attack, I'll be able to withstand it due to my resistance. And she gets a strike across her shoulder. Uh, I don't I don't think she's dead. I don't. I can't imagine they killed Tamaki off that fast. Oh, look at that. And yeah, what uh, what uh, Tamaki said about having some resistance to flame attacks seems to be protecting her right now as uh, once the clothes, once the portion of her clothes that were burned are burned away, we see there's only really a tiny little cut there. Whoa there. But she's taking more and more blasts. Please don't be an op- Please don't undercut all of this like dramatic shit with some more fucking lucky loot syndrome. I do not have the patience for that today, Okubo. How long can you last? As Orochi goes more and more with it, we see her weapon now. Actually, and it looks like to be, it's some kind of, of like flame whip, and it strikes Haji, uh, Tamaki across the the stomach. Uh, she coughs up blood. You're incredibly hard to cut. It feels like hitting a rubber ball. Uh, but Tamaki still like lands flat on her back, and uh, Orochi stands over her. Well, if I can't slice you, I'll just beat you. Ah. Uh. And uh, the the weapon seems to be going in through in either on or I can't tell if it's actually piercing through Tamaki's chest. Ah ah ah! It's only a matter of time before I puncture your stomach. Ah ah! And Tamaki continues to scream. Your resilience to the flames only exacerbates your suffering. But not to worry, I'll give you comfort very soon. And Tamaki squints her eyes open. Or str struggles to open her eyes, I should say. I don't know what squints her eyes open means. Uh, she has an image of, of Shinra. If you're in danger, just call me. Kusakabe. And she reaches her hand up. Help me, hero. And there he is. Or there someone is, because some big blast hits uh, hits Orochi in the face. I'm hoping it's not Shinra. I'm hoping it's someone else. I uh, don't know who it would be in this case, though. Uh, but this kind of, it looks like it's just like an energy blast, and that doesn't seem Shinra style. Maybe it's Hinoa, perhaps? One of his, uh, one of his guns? Uh, but Orochi, like, goes sliding back after getting, like, hit in the face. Uh, and Tamaki notices that she's saved. Oh, it's Juggernaut! Of course it's Juggernaut! Uh, okay, yeah, because Juggernaut was the one who was still there. Uh, and Juggernaut has just punched, uh, Orochi in the face. You! Two... And Orochi, like, takes off her hood, and we see her face. I don't know if it's anyone we're supposed to recognize. I don't think it is. Um, we have a flashback of Takaru's early days in the 2nd Brigade with Hajiki. Fire! Fire! And uh, Takaru, like, runs away from a flame. Uh, and Hajiki responds, or, uh, comments on it. For real? You're scared of a tiny little lighter? Oh, shit, he was just, it was like, I, th I thought the, the, like, the skin marks were the flames, but no. 
They're just like skin marks from him running away so fast. He's really scared of like a cigarette lighter. Size doesn't matter. Big or small, that's scary. But it's tiny and you're freaking huge. Keep up the scaredy cat routine. You'll never impress that girl you like. Ah, uh, you never give up on me, do you? No more excuses. And Takaru grows in size? What is his, what, what are his powers? What even is Takaru? And he just like slams Orochi like in the face. Uh, and we see his, or uh, his glove and like up to around here on his, uh, his sleeve is just completely burned away. Uh, and Orochi gets her whip ready again. Uh, but Takaru of course just gets a new glove because Takaru is just as Takaru at this point. Uh, and the glove, uh, not the glove, the whip kind of does some weird shit around the hilt. Uh, and Takaru kind of like notices the weird thing the whip is doing. And flashes back to Hajiki. Don't fear the flames. You have unbelievable firepower, but you need courage as big as you. Hajiki Senpai, please forgive me. I'm so pathetic. But one thing's for sure. I'm going to protect Katatsu-san. Uh, and we see Orochi's... Oh, Orochi's whip is now split into maybe four or five different whips. Um, but Takaru moves back with his arms. I don't know what kind of thing he's setting up to do. He's summoning, like, flame machine guns? I guess he's- I guess he's a third generation. Alright, I don't know if, uh... Takaru's a character I don't have enough memories of to really know much about him, besides that time he got stabbed in the chest in China. Um... But yeah, he's... I am stronger now. Such determination. Out of love, out of loss and love, he is now a man. Destroy this enemy with your fiery wrath. To be continued after 158, Juggernaut. Uh, so yeah, Juggernaut is on the warpath now, as you'd expect, given that uh, he watched his uh, senpai be brutally murdered in front of him, and the girl he likes get like whipped to like near shreds. She's clearly still alive. Um, I don't know. I could actually see Takaru dying in this fight. Um, I would not have seen it, that coming if it weren't for last chapter where everyone was just dying. Uh, so Takaru, given the next chapter is called Juggernaut, it'll definitely be a big moment for him. Clearly, he's in the chapter. He is the chapter title, I should say. Um, but I think I think it's up in the air if Juggernaut survives this, given everything that we've seen. He, I don't think if he dies, he's going to take Orochi down with him. I think. Uh, if Orochi wins this fight, Takaru will, like, sh like, cling on to life, and someone else will come to save him. Um, but if Takaru dies, Orochi will go down too, I think. Uh, but well, that remains to be seen. Um, I am a tad disappointed. Uh, when Tamaki, like, stepped up to fight Orochi, I was really hoping she'd, like, do something? Uh, and I, I get the whole point of Orochi, is, like, she's more powerful than anyone you know, either of these three have ever seen before. Besides, maybe I don't. I don't think Tamaki's seen show, so I don't know if she's the strongest show. Um, but Tom, Tamaki at least has never fought anyone on Orochi's level. Uh, Takaru too, probably. Um, but I, I do hope Tamaki at least plays some kind of role in this fight. Uh, we were making such good progress in China with Tamaki not being just a fan service character. Uh, and she was, she didn't do really anything in Hajima, but at least she wasn't a fan service character there either, as I recall. Uh, so I really hope this is not just her being relegated back to that role. Uh, especially with all the interesting things this arc has been saying about the way the Oze family, um, treats Maki based on the basis of her gender. I'm hoping Tamaki is not reduced to some, like, sex object, uh, both for the audience and for Takaru. Um, I hope... I know Okubo has a less than stellar reputation uh, on that front, but I really hope he does better here. Because I know he can. I fully believe that he is capable of doing that. It's just with, especially where Tamaki is concerned, he has repeatedly shown that he doesn't particularly want to. And that frustrates me. But hopefully, I, I call the China arc a seeming change in Tamaki's character, just in how little fan service she was forced, on, forced into in there. And I'm hoping, I was hoping we continue with that. I'm a little bit more cautious after um, two chapters ago. There was just the long fucking Lucky Lutes uh, sequence. Um, but hopefully the, the the much more serious dark tone this arc seems to be wanting to go to with Hajiki's death. Uh, hopefully that'll be a sign that that whole shit is going out the door. 
Uh, but that remains to be seen. Until now, we're going to have Takaru and Takaru's incredibly vague powers. powers uh, which kind of makes Takaru less of a character to enjoy, given that I don't quite know what he does or how he works in the slightest, which is kind of the joke. But w when you have a joke character like Takaru, you kind of have to deal with how to make the joke not undercut the drama. And Takaru's joke in particular is kind of hard to do that with because you never know when he's actually hit and when he's not hit. So we'll see how Okubo does that next week. At this point, I'm I'm cautiously optimistic about the next part of this fight, just because, again, Takaru's joke is so weird, and so weird to have any stakes when he can get run through the chest and is just a different part from where his body is. Um, and Tamaki, of course, Tamaki's joke is... Tamaki's joke ran its course by chapter 10, and we're still fucking dealing with it three years later. Um, but that there's not too much to say on that that I've not said over my two and a half years now of talking about Fire Brigade. Uh, so I think I'm going to leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe or do whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people, keep kicking ass and I'll see you in the future. Bye!